hello friends in the last lecture we started with a topic of goodwill in the last lecture we started with goodwill i have explained you the meaning of goodwill that what is goodwill goodwill is nothing but a what is goodwill goodwill is the reputation of the business in the market okay goodwill is the reputation of the business in the market what reputation is being enjoyed by the business because of this reputation the business is expected to extract more customers to attract more customers right and there is a high probability that the old customers will come back to business again and again they will stick to one business who is enjoying a good reputation in the society right now i also told you that this goodwill is an intangible asset for the business right and being an intangible we need to value this goodwill right we need to do the valuation for this goodwill now the question is when this valuation of goodwill is required right question is need for valuation of goodwill right need for valuation of goodwill now let's see this what are the various cases when there is a need for valuation of goodwill the very basic thing is whenever the constitution of the firm changes the constitution of partnership firm because we are doing partnership accounting i'll talk of partnership firm only changes and how will the constitution of partnership firm change number 1 is change in profit sharing ratio right whenever there is a change in the profit sharing ratio among the partners right suppose earlier they were sharing the profits in the ratio of 2 is to 1 then they decided that we will share profits in the ratio of 1 is to 1 now one partner is sacrificing his share and the other partner is gaining the share right so whenever there is a change in the profit sharing ratio we have to value the goodwill of the business number 2 is admission of a partner admission of a new partner now what will happen in this case suppose a and b are already running a partnership business right c joins them they are having a very good reputation in the market a and b is running a business who is having a very good reputation in the market now c joins that business as a partner now c what is c getting c is already getting that reputation right c is getting already built reputation that is goodwill he must compensate a and b for this goodwill right that he is already getting from the business he must pay so something to a and b because he is getting that reputation of the business attached with him right a and b have done years of hard work to build that reputation and c is c can't get it free of cost c must pay something for that right so in this case also we will value the goodwill what is the goodwill then c will 
contribute his share of goodwill that will be paid to a and b right then there is a case of retirement or i can say death of a partner in this case also we need to value the goodwill because there are three partners one partner leave then now the reputation will be shared by two partners okay we need to value the goodwill next we have the partnership firm is sold out is sold as a going concern right so the partnership firm is sold as a going concern then the goodwill will be sold along with the other assets the reputation will be sold obviously right whatever the value of the reputation whatever reputation the business has established over a period of years right that will be sold along with the other assets and the liabilities right next two firms amalgamate that means two partnership firms join hands to run business together right two partnership firms join their hands to run the business together now two reputations are coming together we need to revalue the goodwill because there might be a chance that one business is having a good reputation and other business is not having so good reputation so we'll have to value the goodwill of the combined business what will be the goodwill of the combined business right so these are the cases where we need to value the goodwill right so you can write these down these are the five cases where we need to value the goodwill change in profit sharing ratio admission of a new partner retirement or death of a partner partnership firm is sold as a going concern and two firms amalgamate right now let's see the next part the next part is what are the factors affecting goodwill what are the factors affecting goodwill there are many factors that affect the goodwill that affect the reputation of the business number 1 is management i'll say if the persons who are running the business are efficient the management who is running the business is efficient then they will be able to establish a good reputation in the market right if the management is efficient higher the goodwill because they will enjoy a good reputation in the market if they are enjoying the good reputation the value of the goodwill will be very high right second is location of business location of business right location of business is very very important if i talk of business now suppose there is a society where there are there is a society where there are 50 houses right and there is another society where there are only 10 houses this society is under development this society is a and this society is b now if you are opening a store in society a and society b which one will run more whose earnings will be more society a with 50 houses or society b with the 10 houses obviously society a's earnings will be 
more than society B. Society A store will be earning the higher goodwill than the store in society B. Right. So the location of business is very important. That location is suitable to all the customers. Location is such that it is easily accessible to the customers. Right. If you are opening your business in a very remote location where there are where the accessibility is very difficult, then obviously you will not be able to attract that that, that much customers. Right. Clear. This was location of business. Next is access to supplies. Access to supply means the raw material supplies means raw material that you are using to produce your product whether it is easily ex available nearby or not right why it if it is easily available in the nearby vicinity right then obviously the cost of your product will be low if your cost of the product is low the customers will buy more of your product provided the quality of product is good right if your raw material cost is heavy obviously your product will be very costly and the people will look for alternatives to that costly product so your location of the business should be such that the raw material that you need to produce your product should be easily accessible right in the nearby vicinity so that the cost of the product is low right so this is directly related to cost of product right next we have quality of products right if you are maintaining the quality of your products at a cost efficient manner right that means the cost is also not very high but the quality is maintained then there is a possibility that you will attract more and more customers and old customers will stick to you you will enjoy higher goodwill so that means good quality should be maintained right over a long period of time over a long period of time right next we have older the business I'll say older the business more the goodwill right this is a very basic fundamental that no business will flourish from the very beginning it takes time to establish itself in the market every business takes time to establish itself right so older the business as the number of years pass by you establish yourself in the market right you see what the market trend is going you adapt yourself according to the market trends right you make modifications in your product in your cost according to the market trend right you cater to the needs of the common people right over a period of time and slowly you will establish yourself in the market and enjoy higher goodwill right so that way is older the business more the goodwill because with the passage of time 
you realize what are the needs of the customers you modify your cost your products your methodology according to the customers right no business will flourish from the very business uh, from the very starting it takes time to establish yourself in the market right then one more point i will discuss is good relations with labor now if you are having the good relations with the labor what will happen is labor efficiency will be high the labor that is working in your factory will be very happy their labor efficiency will be high right they will produce more products production will be high right then quality will be good they will try to do their best and produce good quality products and accordingly your profit will be high so it's very important that you maintain good cordial relations with your labor that is working in the factory you need to keep them happy right it is one major force that you need to keep them happy right so likewise we have some other points also you can read these in your books everything is available these theory notes these points will be easily available in every book right i have given you a brief of what are the, what will be what can be the factors affecting goodwill management location of business access to supplies quality of the product older the business more the goodwill good relations with the labor right see if i talk in the journal terms goodwill is mainly related with profits right higher the profits i can say higher the profits how the profits will be higher because if you are enjoying a good reputation in the business only then your sales will be higher and your profits will be higher that means higher the goodwill right so i have explained you the need for the valuation of goodwill and the factors affecting goodwill why we need to value the goodwill the cases where we need to value the goodwill right in the next lecture we will be discussing what we will be discussing is the types of goodwill types of goodwill and methods for methods for valuation of goodwill right this we will discuss in the next lecture right